All right, welcome back into the LSU Film Room. Tiger fans brought to you by Community Coffee. This week, we're going to have senior linebacker, fellow member of the 1A club, Damone Clark, with us to go through some plays from the past and some from this year. You ready to get into it? Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and go. I said from the past, we're going to start off. The first one's going to be from 2019, wearing a different number, but we put this one in there because this is something you've done a lot, and you did it a lot in this season as well, rushing against offensive guards. And so you know you're blitzing. Talk through the mindset of rushing a guard opposed to maybe even like rushing against a tight end or a running back. Well, the biggest thing, you got to make uh, the offensive linemen move their feet. Like yeah. if, you, if you can make them move their feet, I mean, you got a 50-50 chance to win. So on this play, all I remember, we wanted them to uh, get the 5-0 protection, and that's what we did. See, Jacoby was up. So we got him to get the 5-0 protection. And then we, uh, 2019, we used to run a lot of stunts and uh, we used to run different things and stuff. So on this one, like I said, we got him to do the 5-0. And I mean, I just make the guard move his feet. He thought, see, he thought uh, Marcel and I was, you know, running a type Head, of stunt right. or something. So he overset. So I just went uh, inside and see, he wasn't even looking at me. So I just, you know, he didn't have no power uh, anyway. So I just went inside and it was a, a big time play. Is it more of a deal where when you're going against guard, you try to say, hey, I got to be more physical. It's not a running back. It's not a tight end. So they're not expecting me to use my hands and bull rush them like this. So it's almost an advantage to try to go a physical way with an offensive guard because he's probably not expecting it either. No, that's right. See, uh, they, you know, me playing you know, a stack backer position, you know, they, when uh, linebackers rushing, they, they more so think that you're going to, you know, just try to bull or something. So right. I, I knew I had to use my hands. Nice play there. That was a fun game, as you mentioned. Big win for the Tigers in that year. Let's fast forward to this year, right there playing a stack linebacker. Got the jersey 1-8 on. And this is a play we were talking about before we started. This is a formation that you recognized and knew that this was something they were going to try to get to. Yeah, that's right. One of the biggest things Coach Baker uh, does a lot with the linebackers is just, you know, remembering, understanding formations. You know, it's, it's certain things that they do in each formation. So on this one, I knew they, they motioned to to the formation that right. they wanted. And I know one play Auburn ran a lot was duo and uh, Tank Bisbee liked to, to cut it off the tight end. So that's why you can see on this play, I, I came up to about three yards and then, you know, that's my gap, the D gap. So I mean, I just, you know, used my hands, got off the block and uh, made the TFL. I love, I love you going through because you see as soon as you go in motion, you're like, oh man, I know exactly where this ball is going. Let me mm -hmm. cheat up a little bit. And then a really nice job with your hands. I can just tell you blocking linebackers like this off the edge, the last thing I want you to do is be able to extend your arms like that, get off the block, shuck me, and get to the running back here. Nice open field tackle as well. All right, this was maybe the most impressive one for me in the clips that we have because obviously you've got this running back in man coverage, and there's so many things that he can do from this position. Obviously, I mean, he can run the wheel. He can mm -hmm. just be a decoy, but... I can tell that when you're going out there with him, you've got your head on a swivel. You're trying to say, okay, where are these receivers at? Is he going to try to crack me? Are they going to try to throw a screen to him right now? Let me go ahead and get my best position to be able to make a play. And then all of that to get to the open field tackle portion of it because you still have to make a play in space. So mm -hmm. kind of walk us through what you're thinking when you see him go in motion and you're trying to make sure, because you have him in man coverage, that you get in the best possible position to be able to make a play. Well, yeah, so on this play, I mean, like you said, I got him man-to-man -man between uh, Mike and I. So right. once he you know, once he came to my side, I, I know that's my man. So like you said, I kept my head on the swivel. I had to make sure I ain't cross the ball and uh, be off sides, and I had to make sure that the wide receiver wasn't cracking me and they throwing like a flare screen to him. So, I mean, once I, like you said, once I, you know, kept my head on the swivel, I just pushed through with him and then uh, half the battle was over and the rest of it was just making the open field tackle. No, I'm glad you mentioned that. I mean, that's not even a part that I really even think about. Yeah, you got to make sure you're still behind the ball, but you want to get yourself in the best leverage as possible as well. So there's just so many different moving parts. And then, of course, like we mentioned, I think you'll see a better appreciation of what you do in the open field here because you're right. I mean, half the battle is getting out here, making sure that the receiver doesn't crack you, staying on sides. But you got to tackle a guy that's a skill player in space as well. Yeah, and, that, and number five was actually he uh, played receiver as well too. Right. So I mean, I, I knew I had to uh, leverage. That's one of the biggest things that Coach Baker go over with the linebackers: open field tackling. So I knew I had to, you know, use the sideline as my friend as well. Nice job there. One of my favorite plays here in the package, as I mentioned. But, of course, it's always a good day to make a play against the Florida Gators. That's this right. is a play that ended the game. I mean, this was the closer defensive-wise, right? You give the ball back to the offense, it, it, you know, able to run the clock out. 
but kind of walk us through this entire play because as you can see here and you'll get a better shot of it in the end zone copy Jaqueline is in a technique right he's he's over the guard and then he goes to a three technique and you're like no 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 you got to get back you got to get back to your gap that you were in so what were you seeing right here from Jaqueline so on this one he was supposed to be in the shade so right. then he slid to a three so I was like no 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 I'm like slide back you know I'm <laughs> like I, I, I mean essentially I had to play off him anyways but I was just you know I like to make sure I, the D line in the right spot so we all play off of each other though and then you've got this tight end here in man coverage this slot and by the way I'm glad you did move Jaqueline because he gets a rush yeah. and forces a quick pass and look it allows you to you kind of check right here to make sure that Richardson's not running because he's such a dynamic runner and it gives you time to be able to check that and still recover here knowing that you had the closing speed to be able to go make a play on the ball I saw like I felt them you know just turn up the field right and I know that was a beater that they was going to try to do so they ran this exact play early in the game it was in a different coverage but I knew like I had to uh take him up because once he come under the, the safety fall off so I, I had to, you know, like I said, I pushed up with him, and then as I was running, at the last, I was like, in my head, I'm like, what's taking him so long to throw the ball? So I'm still running, and then, you know, I just <laughs> caught up with the man, and as soon as I looked back for the ball, the ball fell right in my hands. It was a, a big-time play against the Florida Gators. Like we said, look, you're in the shade here. Move out to a three. No, 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 no. Great communication. Get back over there. We then, need oh, you. Oh, yeah. I, uh, actually, I, I told him I appreciate him for this play, too, because I didn't, I, mean, I didn't realize until we went back and watched it on film that he, uh, you know, he split two people and got yeah. back there. And then we had uh, BJ on the outside as well that put pressure on the quarterback and just made him throw an ill advised throw. And one thing I always tell the guys is just one day at a time. And one thing that Coach Baker harp on a lot, he tell me that a lot and tell the linebackers just be where your feet are and just control what you can control. So that's one thing that I always do. Just be where my feet are, control what I can control, and, and the rest will take care of itself. All right, that's going to do it. This is LSU Film Room brought to you by Community Coffee. We'll be back next week. We'll see you then. Go Tigers.